Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to announce that the Eagle has finally taken flight on the Droid Bionic. I'm talking about the Liberty ROM by KJR31 and Team Liberty. Uh, we've been long awaiting this ROM. It has been in the works since uh, the release day of the Bionic, and it's finally here. After several weeks of beta testing, we finally have our first release candidate. This ROM is very fluid. And it works extremely well. Uh, it's not 100% complete, as in this is the base only. All the theming and customization options are not there yet. They will be in uh, the updated versions of Liberty. But for now, we have a complete base. This is fully functional, and you can use this as your daily driver. Um, there's, you know, as far as like your phone and your camera and everything else, there's not going to be the bugs and all in there. Uh, because it is completely stable. Um, so I'm already jumping into the overview here because I'm so excited. That's not really what I wanted to do. Let's go ahead and get into the install instructions. And after we install it, I'll give my quick review. So what you need here is a rooted droid Bionic. You need to have Bionic Bootstrapper installed. You can grab that from the market for $3.99. Uh, you need the Liberty 3 Release Candidate 1 ROM. And you can grab that from the link in the description. Uh, once you have that downloaded to your phone, go ahead and open up the Bionic Bootstrap. You'll click Bootstrap Recovery, Allow, click OK, and Reboot Recovery. And some of you guys are familiar with Liberty from the Droid X. Uh, it was one of my favorite ROMs before we had Second in it. Of course, uh, they, alongside Apex and Dark Slide and and the likes, they were one of my favorites. And uh, they're finally on my Droid Bionic, thank goodness. Okay, so once you're in Clockwork, you're going to want to wipe Data Factory Reset. And the way that we're getting through the menu here is up and down volume, select with power. So as soon as we get it where you can see, okay, so you will select Wipe Data Factory Reset, go down to Yes, Delete All User Data. And I'm not going to do that now because I already have it installed, I'm just going to hit the Back button. And then you'll go to Wipe Cache, Partition, select that. Go down to Yes, Wipe Cache, select that. I'm going to go back. Then you'll go to Advance. And you go to Wipe Dalvix, select that. Go to Yes. Wipe Dalvik, select that. When all that's finished, you'll go back twice. Go to Install Zip from SD Card and choose Zip from Internal SD Card. If you downloaded the file directly to your phone, it'll be in the Download folder. Select the Download folder and you're looking for Liberty RC1.zip. Select that and then go down to Yes, Install Liberty RC1.zip. That'll take about five minutes to install. When you're finished, you'll go back and select Reboot System Now. So in my overview, there's not a ton of things to go over uh, because, like I said, this is the release candidate one. This is not even a full release. It is still in beta. Um... But I'm just so excited about it, I had to do a video and show you guys so that you guys can go ahead and jump on it. Because a lot of things have been changed about this ROM. Uh, most all of the blur elements have been removed. See, you've got your Liberty ROM, uh, boot animation. How cool is that? Okay, so that's so cool. Anyhow, back to what I was saying. Most of the blur has been removed. The only blur that's left is the contacts, the dialer and the camera and camcorder. Those are the only blur elements that are left. Of course, your HDMI output works. I tested that earlier, as well as uh, WebTop hack is built into this, so you can use your phone as a computer through the HDMI port. You see that you have the AOSP lock screen there that it comes with, and you can change that to a rotary, uh, which we'll dive into that soon. Uh, so far, what's been themed here is your notifications have been themed, your dialer has been themed, to give it that gingerbread look, and then your, your contacts, of course, have been themed, your dialer's theme there. And it comes with Launcher Pro 2, and you can change your settings here by clicking Menu and Launcher Options. And there's a, uh, 
There's a few little settings that you can change here. Okay, so you can go to the number of hot seats. You can have either two or four. It comes with two. I changed it to four. And then to change what you have there in your hot seat, you just press and hold and choose the application, whatever you want there. I just had the messenger there. Okay, so the dialer and the internet have to stay the same. You can't change those. But you can change the outside one and uh, both the outside ones. And then you can also change the background of your launcher by going to hot seat background. I like gingerbread, so I kept that. And hot seat icon style. And I chose gingerbread there as well. Okay, so another cool thing about this is you have that 4D scrolling up and down on your app drawer. And see there's my web top. Where are we at? See the web top connector that's included there. And in settings, well Okay, that's not lag, I just wasn't touching it correctly. Um in settings, you have liberty settings. And there's not a ton of things there. You can change it to the rotary lock screen, or you can go with just standard AOSP lock screen, and you can set your music controls. Now this is where all your customization options will be. I imagine we'll also have a Liberty Toolbox soon with tons of fonts and themes. J Rummy's always good about keeping that stuff updated. And uh, so you'll have several themes to choose from in the future. Uh, lots of customization here in the Liberty settings. And several other things are to come to this ROM. Uh, so be excited about this ROM, folks. There's a lot of good stuff here. Oh, one other thing. Press and hold and pull up your wallpapers. You have Liberty Papers. And there's plenty of Liberty wallpapers to choose from as well. So lots of great things going on with the Bionic. Uh, some other things that are coming to your Bionic soon. CM7 is almost on our Bionic. They got it working on the Droid 3 and Hash of Codes and another developer forgetting his name. There's another guy that has actually tested it and tried it and saw that it works and uh, that whole team of developers is working on getting CM7 to the Bionic. So that's coming soon. Droid Theory is coming out with d -Blurred. Uh, in a matter of hours or days, that'll be dropped soon. So I'm looking forward to that. And several other things that are coming to a Droid Bionic near you. So stay excited about this device. I know the Galaxy Nexus is coming out, but this device has plenty of awesome things that are coming to it as well. Guys, check out DroidModerX.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Droid phone. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E, not a 3. And also subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Intoxicated world